Good day guys, I'm Teal. Welcome to vlog number two of this series. And this is a 25K giveaway that Andrew Nimi and Jeff Gross are actually hosting. And on the first video, I got Andrew Nimi's name wrong and somebody pointed it out. Yeah, Andrew Nimi, I know. I, I originally just thought it was Neem and I just kept saying Neem in my head, but I know it's Nimi. I know it's Nimi. I, I just, you know, sometimes we do that kind of stuff. This vlog is about a poker hand. I'm actually gonna make two quick hands for you guys. Anyways, without further ado, guys, let's just roll some B-roll and see you guys into the hands. Hopefully you guys did enjoy that and you kind of get into the mood and kind of see like what the CNE is all about. If you guys want to know the background, I'm from Toronto and in Toronto, what they do is that they host the CNE, the Canadian National Exhibition. Every year, they got a bunch of rides everywhere, people just having fun, you know, you could take your kids out there. But the cool thing is they also got a casino. You know, the casino runs for, I think about two weeks before the actual thing opens. So you got, you know, kind of like a month to get yourself kind of set up to play and then the rides come for like two weeks I think and then all the students and uh, and all and all the kids just kind of like um, run around and they do their thing they got bands playing everywhere it's actually really sweet if you haven't been down here and you're in Toronto or the GTA definitely come and check it out it's uh, it's pretty awesome you get this awesome vibe and what's cool is that you get to play poker there are bands playing everywhere and it's just really cool if you got the time you can just take a pass you get your day pass and you just do a whole tour, like the entire thing, or check their schedule. Maybe there's like a band that you like that uh, that plays. Cool thing is, if you get the VIP and you play for three hours, then you automatically get free parking and you get free admission for that entire season. But you have to play poker, I think, before the actual c &E opens up. But I know you guys are here about the hands, so let's just start hand number one. I'm nine-handed and I got a thousand bucks in front of me. Now, it doesn't really matter what you have at a limit game because you can bring as much as you want. The limit is the limit unless you get heads up to the river and then you guys can like min raise all in if you want. So I'm middle position one, I got ace, king, jack, jack, double suited. This is a half kill pot. So what it means is we're playing 2040. The player that won the previous pot ended up winning a pot over $400. So that means that he automatically brings in a $30 bring in and he makes the entire round a 30, 60 game. So that's what the half kill is and that's what we're playing right now. So it folds to me, I decide to open to 60 bucks, middle position two calls, the button calls. So now the big blind who actually brought in the kill decides to put in the third bet and he goes to 90. Now I decide to call and M2 decides to cap. Getting pretty wild. So when he caps, all that means is that there's no more betting that's just capped and everybody else can just call. So everybody else calls and we see a flop. Flop is 10 jack four offsuit. So we flop the absolute stones and we got a gutter which is pretty damn sweet and we're blocking some of those straight cards that could potentially get there all in all we have an awesome hand we also got a backdoor flush draw checks to me i obviously decide to bet here and middle position raises button calls now the big blind goes to 90 this is where it gets a little weird i mean i could probably put in the fourth bet myself and cap it but then i kind of give my hand away so what I want to do is I think that middle position two is probably going to cap it himself. So I'm just calling and middle position two decides to cap and then everybody else calls. So again, four ways to the turn. Six offsuit on the turn. We still have the absolute stones and he checks again. I bet 60 this time because on the turn in the river, the bets uh, double the size. That's why it's called 30, 60. Now middle position two raises to 120. The button calls. Big blind puts in the third bet to 180. 
And of course, at this point, I have to cap because I'm actually hoping that maybe the bun kind of like folds his hand if he's just kind of drawing to, you know, maybe a gutter or something like that. So I definitely want him out of the pot and try to price him out if I can. And obviously try to maximize uh, the most that I can because I don't think that if I flat here, I, I don't think that M2 is going to cap himself uh, because there's just way too many things out there. He's probably scared of pocket jacks or pocket tens unless he's got tens himself. And I don't think that he's got tens. I think the big blind most likely has tens in this spot here or probably like a big wrap hand. But it doesn't really play out like uh, like a drawing hand because most guys want to call their draws. So really think that we're up against two sets here and we got top sets. So we're looking pretty damn good. Both those guys, they each have one out, which is really sick. So I think that's kind of where we stand right now. We're going to get a lot of money in. And uh, the, the last guy in the pot, the bunt most likely just has... Uh, some kind of like gut shot draw or something like that. So he's kind of sticking along for the ride. Anyways, I cap and everybody else decides to call. So this is where the big blind says that he might be drawing dead. He thinks he's drawing dead. And I'm thinking in my head, yeah, you probably are because I think he's got pocket tens. So we're in the best spot to be in. Like I'm just jumping for joy right now. Just hoping for a clean card. There was a flush draw on the turn, but... If that doesn't come in, then I'm pretty much going to bet it. So, Ace on the River. Not the best card. I got to say, it's not the best card. I'm not super stoked. But the thing is that we do block some of the straights with the King. And especially when he checks to me, I just got to bet here. I'm never going to check because I think everybody's going to check. And then when they bet, they're probably going to just have a straight. So, I'm going to try to bet here, go for value and try to extract value from like you know second set or something like that or even bottom set that might call along but middle position two folds and then the button snap folds and now the big blind size about it and he obviously doesn't want to call like you know you're in the spot where you know that you're pretty much dead but the pot is so huge you know like forty dollars is like two grand it just doesn't make any sense and no limit it's it's like an obvious snap call you just want to see the guy's cards so that's exactly what happens. He calls, we show him the jacks. So he's just looking disappointed and just shaking his head and that's that. Jacks are damn good. And we scoop a $2,000 pot. That was a sick pot. And shout out to one of the subs cause they said they seen this pot. So here it is on the vlog. This was a huge pot. Definitely my biggest 2040 pot. Now I ran out of time on this, so catch you on the next one, guys. I tried to put in two hands, but this one was just long enough. And um, that's all I got to say. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. See ya.